So this is the second exotic matter. It's just like Arthur said. We're making progress, and that's a good thing, but... It also means the three unknown life forms weren't lying. We may have some hope, but on the other hand, those monsters might just be toying with us. I wonder if this Mem Aleph really is at the center of the Schwarzfeld. Who knows how long it'll take us to get there. What a glum bunch. What happened to the elite investigators armed with the latest technology? Well, there you go, Arthur. It's all up to you. Some situation. Is moving into the unknown all we can do? So, Arthur, how do we get to the next sector? Oh. I think this is the first time we've seen this layout. With them having actually two people in front and Arthur just like behind them. We will return to Eratinus and navigate from the vanishing point. We will enter the new sector using a continuous jump. I hope those three life forms don't get in the way this time. Drive safely now. Hornax was teeming with all kinds of demons. I suppose the next sector will have even more powerful demons, yes? I like how everyone ju is just accepting that, yeah, this isn't going to take us out of the Schwarzwald. This is just going to take us to more areas. Before we move to the next sector, I have two items to report. No. No before. First, about crewman Jimenez. The test results were not good. He will be removed from the mission for the present. If it is deemed necessary, we will put him in cold sleep. Jimenez has been begging to return to his duties, but I have serious doubts about his ability to control himself. How are you even keeping him held back? We can't have him run in and get captured again like he did at Jack Squad HQ. About that. Apparently he was chasing after his demon bugaboo after it went into the base. Right, so... Uh... Yeah, the reason he got caught was because of bugaboo. He didn't just up and decide to go in himself. He might as well have because he decided to have bugaboo out. Even though we keep telling him. Don't have bugaboo out. Of course... That's all spilled milk now. It's not like Bugaboo was... Is his Pikachu, you know? P Bugaboo isn't coming out of his demonica by himself. He's literally letting him stay out. Fate dealt him a funny hand, I guess. At least this guy can laugh about it. Secondly, regarding the former Jack squad, our supervision is proceeding as planned. As a result, we may gain some sort of technological advance from them in the near future. We receive regular reports on the materials and demons they collect. They've got some of their autonomy back, but I guess that's fine. As long as they don't cause trouble. That concludes the report. Let us begin preparations to move to the next sector. We must begin searching for more exotic matter. All hands to your designated positions. Alright. So, here's my theory. I'm thinking that before the end of the game, we have this dungeon, the next one that we're going in, and at least... Well, I mean, I guess it's not fair to say at least one more, right? Because we, we know this next one's not... There's at least going to be this next one and then one more after that. And the reason why I say that is because... Well, we had Jimenez transform in the last one. So obviously, I'm thinking that what they're planning to do is having some sort of thing happen to Zelnin here and Mestema causing her to shift 
and that's going to give give us the three paths because in smt games the last dungeon will always be the one that is different depending on which path you choose so we know there's at least this one and then there's has to be at least one more now whether there's two more so after this one there's a neutral dungeon and then we get the split dungeon at the end or we get the Zelnin dungeon here and then it's the split dungeon after that but there's at least two or three more in this game that's what I'm thinking Continuous phase shift complete. The new exotic matter has led us through the vanishing point to a previously unreachable area. We also know there's one mother left, right? We have safely landed in a new sector. All hands prepare to begin this sector's mission. Monitors report on field conditions. This is Sector G, code name Grus. Grus. Bruce? Monitors here, setting up the outside camera field. Feed. Oh, it's like skyscrapers. Okay. This is nicer than Fornax. Hey, I recognize this place. Is this Sector Ant? Oh. It does look like it, but I didn't even recognize it. It's been so long. It's not quite the same as Antlia, was it? Wasn't Antlia burning more? There's no way this can be Antlia. Our space-time coordinates are nowhere near there. We've just confirmed some strange readings. It's bad enough this place looks like Antlia, but there's more. Looks like there will be some places out there where, that are nothing like what we've seen. So basically, while there will be pockets that look like Antlia, there will also be areas that look completely different. The whole thing's like a giant mosaic. Judging from the sector's layout, it seems this sector will be difficult to traverse. Take caution while carrying out your duties. Our initial calculations show that Sector Grus is much less stable than the other sectors. It's as if its basic mass is kind of like a mirage, materializing for some reason. The materialization progression is relatively advanced at our LZ. What's LZ? The sector smells all kinds of suspicious, but not much would surprise me anymore. We have a job to do, same as ever. Have we confirmed our target? Is there exotic matter here? Even after finding some exotic matter, we fail to return home. It's as if we're marionettes on the string. Don't act like you didn't know this was going to happen. Perhaps we were crazy to think we could escape. You didn't think we could escape. Everyone knows already. Please don't say anything to stir up anxiety, Zelnine. Exactly. Like we all knew. Even I knew. It'll lower morale and affect the mission. I'm sorry I spoke out of turn. But I wasn't simply voicing my frustration. I'm thinking there must be some other way. As the command unit, I propose that the search for the exotic matter remains our chief priority. Primarily because the exotic matter may afford the possibility of escape. And secondarily, because it may lead us to Mem Al Aleph. I posit a theory. Mem Aleph is believed to be the core of the Schwarzfeld. By destroying Mem Aleph, we may be able to destroy the Schwarzfeld as well. That sounds like a really bad idea. The Schwarz destroy the Schwarzfeld? Is that possible? We've already failed once. I don't mean destroying the Schwarzfeld as a bad idea, I mean destroying the Mem Aleph thing. The attack from outside failed, but what about an attack from the inside? I thought the plan was an attack from the inside. Didn't they bring like explosives into it and try to blow it up from inside? That's why we had to go out? 
Either way, it's nice to have some good news for a change, Arthur. How's this good news? We may not know where to begin destroying it, or what we're supposed to attack. It'll be the most dangerous thing we've ever tried here. Everything's up in the air. Even a slim chance means there's still hope, but not without that exotic matter, so we keep looking. You've gotten good at handling the crew, Arthur. That fairy tale about being able to destroy the Schwarzwald sure lifted everyone's spirits. Well, not with you out here calling it a fairy tale, dude. Hey, don't use that as an excuse to slack off. I feel like this happened before. We're short-handed as it stands, guarding Jack's squad and all. Didn't this exact situation happen? Put your feelings aside and focus on the mission. Like, these are the exact same lines that we got just before Fornax. But if we destroy the Schwarzfeld, will we be able to return to Earth? What will happen to us inside? Calm down. No use worrying yourself sick over something that may or may not happen. Keep your mind on practical matters, like how we can stay alive in the Schwarzfeld. We can't even nail down our own probes. Human crewmen are expected to be in control of their emotions. Stay calm, assess the situation, and carry out your duties. From this point on, the search for the exotic matter will be our chief objective. I look forward to the successful completion of your mission. Oh my god. Alright. Oh, there we go. Let's make a save here. Okay. I think before we head off, we'll speak with Irving. See if we get any new forma. Okay, what sub app? Laplace. Raises the odds of creating higher level demons than normal. Okay, I'll grab that. Or Laplace. Long birthday. Eh, it's alright. Ooh, allows you to make a demon reconsider when it changes its mind about joining you. Sure. And we can make a new weapon, the Holy Knife. Um, yes, I will. This sounds good. Okay, make sure we're healed up. We are. I'll make another save just because I made some items. And let me make sure I have... My enemy banish on. I do. Okay, let's go. I like how they uh, found a reason to reuse Antlia, I guess. Oh man. Oh, I really hope they change up the scenery a little bit once we get in deeper. It's like we've been here and yet we haven't. This is confusing. They're toying with us. This place gives me the creeps. I hate this color scheme. What, purple? And once we're past here, it'll be completely different, right? I'm getting worried. I'm not gonna go wandering into someplace weird, am I? Well, then don't go wandering off on your own. Hey, despair is the enemy just as much as the demons. Stay focused on the mission. But I feel like we're missing something. One loudmouth crewman. He's a pain to have around, but it feels strange without him. Oh, you mean Jimenez? Well, he can't help it, in his condition. 
We'll have to pick up his slack, but just hang in there. And don't you get lost either, Lieutenant Zelnin. We have no choice but to press on, whether it's to find a way home or to find another route. Sure, man. Okay. Well. Oh, crap. I just realized I turned back. So let's actually explore this place. Let's see, how's... I mean, it doesn't look that similar. I guess what they mean is when they um, were talking about the second floor, when Anlia opened up into the battlefield, that's what they meant. And yeah, I guess I can see that. Oh, and we instantly have a phase shift. Cool. Wait. An angel is standing in front of you. Isn't that Dominion? Oh, a human, huh. You are among those who ride the iron ship Master Mustema has spoken of. I am guarding the path to our secret area under Master Mustema. Why are you telling me it's a secret area? And how secret can it be if the path is right where we enter? I cannot allow anyone to pass without Master Mustema's permission. Please leave. Steak? Were you talking about Mustema? Is he here? Master Mustema is investigating this land. We must uncover the scheme of those accursed demons. So Mustema is here, in Grus. It sounds like we'll need to meet with him to make any progress. But I have questions for him too, so it works out perfectly. Let's find Mustema, Steak. Sure, whatever. At this point, I'm just going to accept anything. Oh, so now we're here in, um, Boots. I mean, I've, yeah, I kind of figured this was going to be an amalgamation of all the other dungeons together, given what they were saying. Ah, oh, the repulsive humans have set foot in this land. You will not be forgiven, you race of traitors who infected the earth with your black dreams. You will pay the price for twisting the future to no purpose in this land. My power of illusion exists now to destroy you and all of humanity. I shall slowly inflict pain on those bodies of yours. Be mystified, cry in sorrow, grow weak, and die. Okay. So whoever that was, I'm guessing that's the the mother. And new enemies. Okay, let's try lightning. Well, that's gonna suck. Okay, one's weak to lightning, two are not. The other two are weak to fire, cool. Okay, so we can just trigger that. We'll kill the one that's weak to fire. Um, I can't use the Kaja, so... Whatever. Okay, and we're gonna heal that one by accident. I think what I'll do is I'm just gonna drop a Aguilau or Miragi stone on him and just finish this. There we go. Oh my god, it's a Gogmagog. I want a Gogmagog. And we got Oberon, who has gained some weight since 
Nocturne. Okay. I think I'm going to create this Oberon here. So it'll be a lot easier to just make him instead of trying to recruit him from the enemies. Um, and since I have a... It was... God, I don't, I don't remember the name of the thing. I can't even pronounce it. Tial Tukutli and Kaiwan, they go together to create Oberon. And I'm going to give him the Manticore source so that he is no longer weak to electricity. And then, you know, a decent variety of skills. There were a few other demons that I could create, like um, the Alron or Alraini. I don't know how to pronounce that either. But, and I could do that using the Vivian and the Strigoi. Um, honestly, I do really like Vivian. However, oh, uh, the problem is she's lawful. And I'd be giving away what my only lawful healer. Right? Yeah, because I have... I mean, I have two lawful healers already. I'm giving away my only neutral healer. Which... In this game matters a lot more. Because... I need it if I need... Co-op skills. So I think I'm going to hold off on creating that. For now. Oh. Who's this? The enemy uses a rather troublesome spell. Her illusion blocks the path, preventing us from invading. I must hurry to the place where my cohorts are gathering. I assure you, I am not lost. Alright. Who do you think you are, Zoro? Oh, did we take some damage or. No. I don't think we took any damage. Okay, and we got... Gogmagogs now. I think... I probably can't even talk to these things. Oh, they're too high level. But yeah, they probably don't even talk. I normally would try to get a Gogmagog or a Gira Makala, But it seems like they have a lot more weaknesses in... In this game than... In previous ones. Yeah, let me switch out Sarah's Vati for Vivian. Because... Oh, jeez. Yeah, Sarah's Vati, when it's not a boss battle, isn't really going to be doing much. I guess the good thing about this is these are all one-way paths. So I can't go back even if I go the wrong way, right? Yeah. Which means there's only one way to go. Okay. Or not. It's just going to be very confusing because there's only one way to go each path. You can feel a presence ahead of you. Hmm. Well, well. If it isn't Hunter. Is this Mastema? To think that a son of man could make it as far as these lands. This is a world of interwoven hallucinations. They seem to originate from the power of illusion employed by the demon controlling this land. So from what I can gather, it seems like the angels are or have prepared a an attack against whoever is controlling this land. Now why they're doing that, I'm not sure yet. Be careful not to succumb to its illusions. That's Mastema. You finally found him. 
I caught up just in time. I see. Were you already talking to him about something? My, my. You too, Zelnin. I never thought you'd travel so freely around this cursed land after your initial fear of demons. Still, you must use caution around the demons of this land. But there was something I wished to ask the two of you. We are gathering his messengers and consolidating our power. By using the illusions as camouflage, we have erected our sacred fortress. As we speak, the heavenly host is gathering at our holy land. It is all in preparation for the upcoming decisive battle with the demons. To prevent the demons' invasion of, earth, of the earth, we must cooperate with each other. We angels are gathering at the sanctuary ahead. If there is anything you require, I will do my best. Let us vanquish the demon horde together. I will inform the angel guarding the path that you may pass. Thank you, Mastema. That will be a great help to us. But may I ask you something? I sensed this was coming, Zelnin. It is clear that something troubles you. Was it? Well, yes. I wanted to ask your opinion. Well, it's not really a question. Just hear me out. I would be delighted. Yeah, that's a creepy smile, dude. I wanted to, a to talk about us, as in the investigation team. We've come this far, but since our failed attempt to escape the Earth, we've been in danger. I mean, Zelnin, we've been in danger since before that, too. Crew morale is falling sharply. There's constant bickering, and some of the crew have been looking out only for themselves. Some of us have been trying to maintain order, but it's anyone's guess how long that will last. So, you humans and your iron ship are coming apart. In a word, yes, but there's more. I... I've become doubtful of the team. I'm worried that our hearts have become tainted by the demons without us realizing it. Zelnane, here's the problem. She's working under the assumption that humans weren't like that in the first place. I thought that might be why instead of helping each other, we've begun to fight so much. No, that seems honestly par for the course. Your hearts? Tainted by demons, I see no signs of it. Yeah, but Mustema knows. You were attacked by Asura in the Blighted Lands, but I do not think that is the case now. However, you may be encountering the problem man has always faced. And that is... You see, daughter of man, humans are creatures I cannot understand. Why do you rely so on trust? You believe there is virtue in trust, that it has the power to produce good results, but... Why are you not more hesitant to rely on such an uncertain thing? Trust comes from the freedom of the heart, and the human heart is susceptible to errors. In times of hardship, human trust is easily broken, leading to betrayal. So you think human trust cannot be the base, basis for a firm bond? Then you're saying the discord causing such a problem can't be avoided? I would, no go I would not go that far. Humans have proven able to cope with distrust throughout their history. Do not allow my words to cause you despair. They are but signposts for the path you must take. Of course, it would be best if you had a way of guiding the people's hearts that did not involve illusions or lies. A way to guide their hearts? Is there such a thing? Such measures are not yet called for, Zelni. Right now, you should let your heart dictate your actions toward your colleagues. Should you become lost again, that will be the time you must come see me. But I must go. It is time I arrived at our sanctuary to meet the rest of the host. Goodbye, Hunter, Zelnin. May we one day defeat the evil hordes. Side by side. Stake. 
The things I said to that angel were things I couldn't even tell you. Why is that? I do feel better now, though it's not easy to talk about with the others on the red sprite. Calling all crews stationed in Sector Groose. I swear to God, if you recall us right now. Are you serious? Are you... We have received information on suspicious activity at Jack Squad headquarters. Return to the new... Return to the Red Sprite and wait for new orders. I say again... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not reading this. This is rather sudden. I wonder what happened. We utterly disarmed them. Let's do as he says and return to the Red Sprite. I just want to continue with the sector. What's the sec what's the situation at Jack's squad? Talk to us, Arthur. We have received communications from the crewmen monitoring Jack's squad. It appears they put the lightning's functions to use in continuing their experiments on demons. Didn't we destroy their equipment? Didn't we get rid of the people that could actually act as supervisors? Using those demons as weapons, they began an armed uprising against their supervisors. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? This isn't good. We may have stripped them of their weapons, but that doesn't do us much good if they use demons. This can't go ignored. The demon analysis technology aboard the Lightning far outstrips our own. Judging by the demons Captain Jack used, it is clear that they pose a threat. He didn't- he wasn't a threat! The crewmen assigned to monitor them are in serious danger. We're getting a transmission! It's from the Lightning! Has something happened to the crew? Patch it through to the main view screen. Oh my god, I'm... Are you kidding me? This guy? Good day, people of the Red Sprite. Yeah, I'm talking to you assholes. I really got no reason to contact you goons, but I decided to tell you how pissed off I am. Are you an absolute blumbering, blubbering idiot? Look at this guy. Am I a nice guy or what? They must have my harp and robe all picked out up in heaven. I know you, you're Ryan. Does this mean you've taken back the lightning? Hey, check out this smart asshole. Went ahead and killed your friends, you should thank me. That's gonna really cut down your payroll costs. Jack left us some good tech, pretty well hidden too. If he wasn't such an honest guy, maybe he could have lived a little longer. Sucks to be him. But I ain't like that. I know human nature. I got big plans. Well, maybe if you weren't so stupid as to contact us and just left, we'd have a harder time tracking you down. Once I create the ultimate demon army, I'm gonna wipe you guys out and take your stuff. Maybe you should have created the army before contacting us. Just wait and see. Those bastards, they killed our men. That's it, I'm gonna kill them. They took back the lightning and they're making more demons. They'll come for us next. What's going to happen to us? I think the funny thing is, none of this would have happened if we hadn't gone there in the first place for no reason. And now Jimenez is gonna be all high and mighty and say we should have killed them all when we had the chance. When he's the one that started this in the first place. Told you we should have killed him that one time. Him and his. Get it now? There's no use for any of that dumbass pity here. It's kill or be killed. There ain't a third way. Now let's get our counterattack going. Now I'd be down for doing it myself. Yeah, well, can we just send him? I'll turn the lightning into one big iron coffin. 
Yo, Arthur, issue the revenge mission already. That's why you called everyone back, isn't it? Hey, Hunter. You're ready to rock, right? Let's lock and load. We should wait and see. No, we're, we should not wait and see. I've had it with these idiots. Let's just go kill them. What good is it for humans to fight each other? Zelnine! The casualties will only continue to mount. We should form a plan that doesn't involve violence. How good- how far are you gonna take this goody two-shoes act? What's the point in holding back from a guy who just said in plain English that he's gonna kill us? Like, I understand they're trying to push Zelnine as the lawful one here. I feel like they're tr really, really trying to push it, though. Like... No ma I feel like no matter how lawful you are, right? This is pushing it a little. They broke the agreement. They developed demons as weapons. From a security perspective, it's not exactly hard to justify annihilating those guys. There's no one here who can say otherwise. Ryan said he'll attack us as soon as he's ready. We can't afford to lose the initiative. We should attack now. I'd rather not fight them, but... This is self-defense. I don't see any alternative. Like, even if you're lawful good, I feel like the moment they start using demons as weapons and stuff, you're like, you know, that crosses a line. And they start killing your friends and their superiors and they try, you know, bring up an uprising. But what? Look, just answer me this. Do you have an actual plan to settle this non-violently? If you do, I'll go with it. Scout's honor. Well. Oh, she got a new sprite. The way to lead the hearts of man. If we use the method Mastema refer to, perhaps. Could you? Crewman of the red sprite, I request more time. The angel Mastema has helped me many times. He will show me the way out of this predicament. So you don't have a plan. You're going to rely on Mastema. Away without bloodshed. You're gonna rely on that angel again, huh? I'm sorry, Stake, but I have a favor to ask. Can you take me to meet Mastema at Sector Gruce? Please, Stake. Oh my god. We were just there. Sure, whatever. I'll take you. Will you authorize an exert? excursion to see Mastema. It does have a bearing on our problem, I assure you. It is vital that we deal with Jack's squad. However, I will not limit our options to their annihilation. Any method of resolving the situation will be accepted. As long as we do something about Jack's squad, you won't ask any questions, huh? Lieutenant Zelnin's proposed plan cannot be ignored given past events. You will have authorization for your journey and time to carry out your plan. However, there is no way to know when Jack's squad will commence their attack. You are advised to produce a result as soon as possible. Thank you, Arthur. There's little time, Stake. Let's hurry to Mastema. Actually, I think there's plenty of time. I look forward to the successful completion of your mission. Honestly, I was kind of on board with the dungeon for a little bit. You know, I like the... I was interested in going to Sanctuary. I guess that's where we're going now. Oh my god, I'm so... Get me out of here, please. Alright, let me see if I can reach Sanctuary. Oh. I just had to talk to this guy. Okay. In 
initiating phase shifter. Okay, so sanctuary should be somewhere around here. Zelnin and Hunter, correct? Master Mistema is beyond here. Be aware that we have set snares to prevent our foes from easily infiltrating. I pray that you make it to Master Mistema safely. What do you mean? Why don't you just show me where all the snares are? I have a map. You could just put the map there. Okay. Got some new enemies. I'm assuming these are going to be like, um, angels. Okay. Weak to ice. Oh. Hmm. They hit pretty hard. Well, uh, let's switch Ouroboros out for, I guess, Jack Frost. And let's try to kill at least one of them. Nope. I should have switched that out. Okay. I'm assuming this is going to be the same group as before, so I'm just going to hit them all with, uh, with ice and kill them. Oh my god, these things are strong. And none of them died. That's not good. Okay, we got two of them. Oh my god, what, what were they? Shield to Kutli, level 54. Why was your Grand Piercer so strong? I know Grand Piercer is like heavy gun damage, but oh my god. That thing one-shotted Black Frost, and I, I guess Black Frost isn't... I should have used the Karama Tengu instead. But yeah, that's... Huh. Those were probably some of the strongest mobs we've dealt with. This is the territory of the angels. Those who cannot sublimate their wills to a higher calling should leave this place. Well, maybe we shouldn't be here, guys. Okay. So I found a save point. I got teleported. Um, I stepped on like a tile and I got teleported here. So maybe this is the right place. Why do I need a save point and a heal point? Aren't we just here to talk, guys? Wait. Oh, that wasn't even... Okay, so... It turns out that the road to Sanctuary is actually a lot longer than I thought it would be. Um, there's a lot of random portals taking me all over the place. So, I apologize again that this episode was so late. Because I actually do want to get all of this done uh, in one episode. So, this might take a while. The enemy has done its work well. 
Amidst this illusion, I cannot even find the path forward. Okay. I have heard tidings from Master Mastema. There are humans who capture and torture demons. Tru humans truly are cruel beings. It is not too late. Serve us and we shall show you the correct path. Why does it say this is a demon even though it's supposed to be an angel? Your demonica picked up an e angel's voice. You cannot open this door, heretic. Leave. Oh. Okay. I guess that's probably something I can enter when I... Or if I become lawful. Okay, this room looks pretty promising. It's a door with a light. So, oh. I cannot allow anyone to pass. I've heard the voice of our Lord. It was faint, but I heard it very clearly. Now is not the time to go beyond here. After everything is finished, if the Son of Man still continues his journey, at that time, you will let him pass without a word. When that time comes, you will find- you will no longer find me here. Gotcha. So this is another door that I can't visit until I'm lawful. It feels like this entire area, I can progress two or three steps every three minutes. Because after two or three steps, I usually step into a portal, taking me all the way back to the beginning. Do you feel an uneasiness toward unstable things? Stability gives man peace and composure. All those living yearn for stability. Now let us create a world that values stability and balance. Okay. Humans are imperfect creatures, but do not lose hope. As long as your spirit is pure, heaven shall welcome you. You will become beings wrapped in light as we are. They're really running out of angels, huh? They've got power, angel, virtue, and then they just... that's about it. Ah, found him. There we go. I gotta be honest, Mistema. Your hideout kind of sucks. I mean, it's good for keeping people out, but, you know, as a place to live in, I wouldn't want to live in all those portals. You have done well in coming here, Zelnin and Hunter. What do you think of our holy fortress? We are consolidating our power. And it seems you have business with me again today. I know we just came to you for ad advice, but it looks as though we may already need your help again. We have another severe problem. Not with demons, with humans. You explain the struggle between the investigation team and Ryan's squad. I see. The desire to make all others your own. It is one result for humans who know not their place. Junk on freedom. The good in their hearts withers away, leaving only an evil husk. Zelnin, you wish to show mercy to these foolish creatures, yes? Very well. It is possible to have them see the error of their ways and turn to the Lord. How? With the voice of an angel, a hymn must be sung. An angel's hymn. The songs of the angels have guided the sons of man since ancient times. The guidance of the messengers surpasses any worldly temptations. So you're going to save everyone with your voice, Mustema? Sadly, my voice has no more power to affect the hearts of man. The times have changed, and the hearts of man have changed with it. The hymn no longer carries... my hymn no longer carries any weight to them. The same is true for the angels here. Man's heart is hardened against their guidance too. But be not afraid. Though the power of my song is lost, I have other powers. Including the power to turn men into angels. To bestow power upon humans by transfiguring them and welcoming them into the heavenly host. That is given unto me, Mastema, 
leader of his armies. Under this power's protection, you may become angels yourself, sons of man. We can become angels. It is not unknown in your history for humans with modest hearts to ascend to angelhood. In many cases, humans have been given greater power than the other angels. The song of humans pleases him and has the power to repel evil. If you become an angel, you will certainly have the power of song. No, power beyond that. To ascend to angelhood is the ultimate bliss man can achieve. Indistinguishable sadness, never-ending doubts, all of man's suffering can thus cease. The power of angels, it can take away my sadness? Not everyone can withstand a transfiguration, mind you. If the heretical, the blasphemous, the impious attempt to undergo the process, my power will be as a cleansing fire of judgment and burn the evil one where he stands. Then too, he who becomes an angel will walk a different road than that of mankind. If, for instance, your crew should be able to return to Earth, you yourself, please consider it seriously before you make your decision. Then, may I ask for your answer? Volunteer to become an angel? Yeah, no thanks. Go ahead, Zelnin. I'm sure that this is something you're looking forward to. I'll become the angel. Don't worry, Stake. It's just that I'm powerless right now, so... I had my doubts about the Schwarzwald investigation after a while. Even if we did find a way to return to Earth. Moreover, even if we did find a way to destroy the Schwarzwald, would the people of Earth be saved? Even without the Schwarzwald, humans could destroy themselves. Our species would die out. So you want to become an angel so you don't have to be a part of that? Now I have a chance to attain the power to fix our mistake and guide the people. This isn't only about subduing Jack's squad for me. I want to help save all of mankind. I'm not sure this is enough to do that. Zelnin, I have seen your resolve. Oh my lord, my judgment was correct. The soul of Zelnin is about to be reborn as an angel of salvation. Now, Zelnin, come to me. Stake. The demons have made our own foolishness self evident here in the Schwarzwelt, and what's sad is that they didn't need to lie. They only showed us our true faces. The disaster the demons hope to unleash is something born of nothing other than humanity. None of which is to say that I believe humans are beyond salvation. We still have it within us, if we choose, to climb to higher peaks. I'm going, Stake. Okay. Now, Zelnin, close your eyes and place my finger on your brow. Stemma began chanting. A bright light enveloped the area. Ah, the advent of a new disciple. A transfigured Zelnin stands before you. I feel like you got the short end of the stick, Zelnin. Where are your wings? All he did was give you, like, a cool robe with a really big collar. Zelnin slowly opened her eyes as Mastema knelt down and bowed his head in reverence. How do you feel? I feel refreshed, and I have to thank you for it, Mastema. I shall become a corrective light for these corrupted lands, as well as for mankind. You shall guide the sons of man from now on. Our lord must be quite pleased to witness the birth of an angel like yourself. Well, Stake, what do you think of my rebirth? Eh. It's beautiful. It's awe-inspiring. I mean, no problems here. 
It seems you treat me no differently than before. What, did you want me to revere you? I have been reborn, but I have not forgotten my duty. Now let us go to where Jack's squad dwells. Okay. Pacify Jack's squad. Oh, you want me to walk out? Good thing every portal in this location sends me all the way back to the beginning. Otherwise, this would take forever. They're back. They've come back. Is that Zelnin? Yeah, I mean, she looks exactly the same. She just has different clothes on, that's all. Crewman of the Red Sprite, I'm sorry to have worried you. Though you may be startled and confused to see me as I am now. Be not afraid. I am, as ever, a member of the team. Zelnin has this kind of aura that wasn't there before. Is that actually a robe or is that part of her body? Maybe that's part of her body and that's why they're like, they're saying she's all different. But it looks like she's just wearing a robe. It's like she's peaceful, but overwhelmingly so. I have been saved by a righteous power, becoming more righteous and more powerful in kind. I can do more for you all than I could before. Do not worry about Jack's squad. I shall pacify them with my newfound power. She's trying to save us by sacrificing herself. How noble. Is it? Maybe she's just being as holier than thou as always. Is she doing this for our sake or hers? Jimenez, if only I had the power to restore you to your proper form. Unfortunately, it seems I do not. I will subdue Jack's squad. You should rest. Could you not talk to me unless you absolutely have to? Your voice feels like a nail in my mind. Go ahead and handle Jack's squad, if you can. Return of Lieutenant Zelnin confirmed. Though biologically altered, you may continue to serve on the mission. We will now travel to Jack's squad HQ. All hands, take your positions. Alright. I mean, she did say if she could pacify them, Jimenez is just gonna be okay with it. Now there's two freaks in the crew. I know we're in the depths of hell itself, but where is this all going? Man, who the hell are you? This is a random guy in maintenance. Okay, we'll do a quick save, we'll heal up, and then we'll head over to Jack. We're gonna make this episode super long, just so I can get all of this Jack stuff out of the way. Alright. Evil is drifting about. If humans fight humans, they become like demons themselves. I must purify them. Stake, will you bear witness to my newborn power? I shall make these rebels repent of their deeds. Fear not and trust in the power I have received from the Lord. Alright. Zelnin headed deeper into the field. I mean, I am pretty interested to see how you're going to pacify the crew. As long as I don't have to do anything, as long as I don't have to fight, you can do whatever you want. The hatch to the lightning's deck is shut. Oh, they fixed it. Zelnin stood in front of the lightning and took a deep breath. Sons of man, stop your sinful deeds and hear me. Listen now to the grand hymn of guidance.
Zelnin began singing in an otherworldly voice. Something is happening behind the hatch. Ah, they've become believers. The crew of the lightning disembarked. Look at the guy in the middle, he's praying. Oh wait, it's Ryan. Oh my god, this idiot. Oh lord, please, forgive my foolishness. We have killed humans, we were meant to help. We were wrong, how sinful we have been. Oh lord, we repent our sins. Please forgive us. Repent your sins, sons of man, and cast away your demons. Selene continues to sing, her voice gaining strength. Ooh. That voice. This is the voice of heaven that will lead us. The voice of Zelnin. Hallelujah, Zelnin. Hallelujah. The members of Jack's squad are praising Zelnin. Okay. That seems to have pacified them. Though the con contribution is small, I'm sure he is pleased to have more believers. All right. What's up, Jimenez? Looks like she did exactly what she said she was going to do. What the hell happened to these guys? They give me the creeps. Zelnin, did, did you do this? This is my power, the power of the Lord. They have received guidance. They see now the correct path in life. Correct path? Looks more like they all went nuts to me. All you've done is made a few holy zombies, Zelnin. Well, I mean, as long as they're not attacking us. What are you talking about, Jimenez? You sound like you take any excuse to beg on Zelnin. Yeah, I mean, like, you kinda said you'd lay off if she could pacify them. She just made Jack's squad surrender to us without a single loss on either side. Thanks, Zelnin. Glad there won't be any needless bloodshed today. Now, let's go make a survey of what's inside the lightning. So who's next, Zelnin? Sounds like Jimenez is being a sore loser. I'll be honest. We came to the lightning twice now. The first time I came with Demon Jimenez. And the second time I came with Angel Zelnin. And maybe I'm speaking a little too soon, but I had to fight when Demon Jimenez was here. And Angel Zelnin kind of handled everything on her own. So... I'm just saying. You went into the lightning. Alright, we'll need to scrap any weapons Jack Squad had. Especially the demons they were using. Hey, Ryan, where are all the demons? Oh, Lord. Forgive me. Forgive my sins. Hey, I'm talking to you, man. Answer me. Ryan, take us to where you store the demons you captured. Of course, Zelnin. The demons are this way. They only follow orders from their master, huh? Now then, Stake, let us visit the captive demons. You went deeper inside. The demons are here, Zelnin. They were using the medical equipment. What bastards. Release the demons. Yes, as you command. Oh, wow. Ryan and the other members of Jack's squad released the demons. What's going on? We're free? That horrifying song, it was as if it negated our own existence. But it stopped humans. We saved. Well, as long as Zelnin doesn't annihilate all of you guys right now, you should be good. How dare you use us humans? I'll kill you all! Okay, well, that one you can annihilate. Stop. I will not allow you to harm these people. They have heard my song and faced their foolishness. 
I understand your anger over the selfish actions of those of these sons of man. But if you lash out at them, I shall show no mercy. Okay, so she's kind of reasonable. She's not like the lawful good paladins that just, you know, smite whatever demons they find. She's like, hey, as long as you don't do anything bad, you'll be good. Leave this place. Oh, she's not so bad then. What? That song was you. Fine, we'll leave. Just don't sing anymore. That song is dangerous. It's too much for us. Listen to me, all of you. Oh, the leader of the group of demons stepped forward. I'm thinking of looking for a place we can take the victims of these experiments to recuperate. And I have an idea where that might be. I plan on reconstructing part of the world of illusion. I know the Great Mother who controls that world of illusion, Maya of the Night. If we talk to her about our situation, I'm sure she'll treat us with kindness. Anyone who wishes to go there, come with me. Maya of the Night. Where are they going? I'm guessing it's somewhere in Grus. The demon turned to you and spoke. As you have heard, human, we are leaving. You saved us, but it was from a situation caused by your own kind. I offer no thanks. Yeah, that's fine, dude. It was all our fault anyway. It is true, though, that we have underestimated humans this far. We will no longer see humans as mere prey. Goodbye. Oh. Hey, I mean, that's kind of nice. The demon left. Hey, I don't know about that guy, but I'm not too proud to thank you. Thanks a lot. Hey, nice. Because of you, me hurt. Me will hold grudge. Okay, well, you're weak to everything, so I don't really care. Humanity's full of cruel people, but you seem different. Thanks for what you did. See, there are good demons and there are bad demons. The demons left following their leader. Hey, Hunter. Sorry, but I'm out of here. I'm gonna chase after them. I'm a victim of the same experiments. I think it's best I know what they're up to. Don't worry, I'll be back. Laters. And hey, be careful of Zelnin. So, the demonic one followed the demons. Oh well. Stake, we have utterly pacified Jack's squad. I shall go to Mustema and report this to him. You should return to the Red Sprite to make your own report. The situation has been resolved. Nice. Zalnin left. Attention all crew. Jack's squad has been subdued. All crewmen who have completed their assigned duties return to the Red Sprite. I have approved the independent missions of Lieutenant Zalnin and crewman Jimenez. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I guess we did finish that segment without having to fight at all, which means Jimenez, I think Zelnin is a little stronger than you are Okay, let's return to the red sprite Welcome back crewman steak. I congratulate you on a job well done. I wonder if the red sprite is the neutral path. Now to resume our main objective of investigating the Schwarzwelt. You know, Selene's song was like witnessing a divine miracle. She really has been reborn as an angel. What are you talking about? I'd say she's gone nuts is all. Besides, you call that a miracle? Looked more like brainwashing to me. Hey, better than people dying, right? I analyzed the range of frequencies emanating from Lieutenant Zelnin's vocal cords. It was inconsistent with that of a human, and I could find no match in my libraries. Well, obviously, because she's a demon. I mean, she's an angel now. Like, we know that. I can only say with certainty that it is some sort of resonating signal that directly affects brainwaves. The closest analog would be the MK gun we used to cure the Delphinus parasites. 
I observe some similarities in their wavelengths, but her power is vastly more intense. Isn't that dangerous? We could be next. Why would we be next if we're not antagonizing her? There are many unknown factors, but one might see it as Lieutenant Zelnin's unique ability. Its primary observed effect is to severely decrease aggression for extended periods. A secondary observed effect of causing harm to demons has also been reported. These two data points suggest that she can be extraordinarily useful. Alright Arthur, I getcha. I'm satisfied for now that Zelnin isn't our enemy. Now for the data we have collected on Sector Grus. Our reports show that the leader of Sector Grus is Maya. We gleaned this information from the demons which Jack's squad had captured. It is possible that this may be a hint as to the whereabouts of the exotic matter. So our next enemy is Maya, huh? Any other details, like maybe where we can find it? The position of Maya and the energy signature we believe it to be are still unknown. The illusory, the illusory nature of this sector is proving to be a hindrance to our investigational efforts. At present, the captive demon is our only source of information as to Maya's whereabouts. We must extract information from him by whatever methods prove effective. Carry out your duties as you see fit. The bad news is, there's no way you're going to get close to Maya at this rate. Those demons you're talking about, wait, why are you back? Didn't you follow them? I went with them to the Sanctum in Sector Grus. The Sanctum? You get it, right, Hunter? The pocket dimension you can find with the Phase Shifter. There's a band of demons hiding out there. If Maya's hideout is connected to the Sanctum, you'll have to go through there before you can get to it. But don't worry. Oh. This is the good news. A demon gave it to me. Said it was the key to the Sanctum. If you use this format and download it to the main app, then you should be able to get into the Sanctum too. In the shape I'm in, I don't really give a rip about escaping anymore, but... Hunter's always helped me out. I'm giving this to you as my way of saying thanks. Use it however you want. Hey! You know, that's kinda nice. I don't need it. I can go in and out of there anytime I want. Thanks to my new form. Awesome! You know, I was ragging on you, dude, but you're alright. Truman Jimenez, thank you for finding this forma. I cannot officially encourage your tendency to act independently, but I will disregard this instance in the hopes your connection to the demons proves advantageous. Ch, spoil sport. I helped, didn't I? Let me handle things my way. Yeah, I don't know why you needed to say all that, Arthur. Crewman Stake, I take this forma to Irving in the lab. Once your main app is upgraded, resume your duties. Gotcha. Alright, that's good then. I'm gonna end the episode here then. Uh, we did a good whole bunch. That should be the first act, or the first half of Gru's done. I'm expecting there to be a long dungeon segment next time. And what I'll probably do is try to get the whole dungeon and the boss fight in one episode just so we can, you know, I'm not making five episodes inside of Bruce. So the next episode will probably take just as long as this one to come out, but we'll see about it. I'll keep you guys updated in the community posts if needed. But until then, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.